Crap. In this case, we are going to do the simulation of the cantilevered beam or a console or cantilever. And we will take the sample problem 7.6 from vector mechanics from engineering book with the values of L of 3 meters or 3000 millimeters, values of A we will put like a 1 meter and we will set the triangular distributed force to have an intensity of the at the top will be a 1 kilo, will be a 10 kilonewtons. Looking into the looking into the structure of this problem we can start draft, drafting on a front plane in a sketch we will make the two lines and we will first switch everything to be in a MMGSs so we insert a sketch so millimeters ground second front plane let's put the horizontal line and another horizontal line and we are going to dimension that the total distance between these two points is a 3000 millimeters or 3 meters if we just type in 3 meters three meters and then this distance here I'm going to specify as a one meter or one thousand millimeter and this is my entire structure now I'm going to build here structural member and does it matter 2 times 2 is not a good idea not the square tube we should tape like the rectangular tube and like 4 by 3 this is our group if we zoom in let's see how is our longer axis is horizontal we want really to flip that profile so we will go here and we will align it vertically by rotating it for a 90 degree close the sectional property close the weldment property and here is our profile we will define the material because we always need to define material for the finite element analysis and doesn't matter what will be like for example some of the steel, alloy steel alloy steel and now we are ready to start simulations if we go to a simulation we go on a study advisor new study static Now we are going to first set up fixture and it will be a fixed on the right as per picture on the page 378 sample problem 76 so it will be a fixed geometry in this point here and it will be a fixed in all directions click OK now we need to define our load and this will be a distributed load so we'll go under external load and it will be a force and this time we will need to set up this force and we will click on a non-uniform distribution and under the non-uniform distribution you have a several option one is to have a total lower distribution, table driven distribution or shape like triangular. In this case we will choose the table driven load distribution and instead of the percentage we can put the distance that's the one of the way distance in a meters let's say that the distance uh, one or we can just go back to the 
formula driven force will be total load distribution if we choose maybe if we choose the triangular we choose here the beam this element we choose as a reference plane we will choose the front plane and the force will be this one not this one and will be a 1000 newtons uh, yes let's see how to do that okay This will be a 1000 and we will choose the yeah so we will get the 1000 newtons along plane direction 2 newtons okay and we will click on the reverse and this should be the reverse direction however we should define this one we should better define it let's see how to define it centered load distribution or table driven linear distance distance meter zero I will put that the force per unit is a 1000 and then distance meter one the force will be zero now here is our Rectangle. here is our triangular form but it is in a not in a right direction so what we need to do we need to edit definition and we will need to change that this is this one and unlock this one and we need also to to click that it is the flip origin uh, not flip origin but that this will be the flip direction or we can change simply the sign of it minus 1000 what will make it to press down and there it is so here is our triangular force distribution our triangular continuous force distribution and now we are ready to run this beam this cantilever And here is what happened. Does it look intuitively how it will bend? It can't go anywhere here. Here it is, so the displacement. That's how much it will bend. So it will kind of like, uh, you know, you are pressing down on this ball. You bend. So now if we define here, if we define the beam diagrams, shear force in a direction one, and Newton says fine and select beams all here is our force diagram as you can see as you can see how the force increases until it reaches the point where there is no more changes so you just have an opposite force which is the sum which is the integral of the area essentially under this triangular curve and here then it goes in the opposite direction to counterbalance it to zero and now if we do the next one if we go to an edit definition and we change instead of the moment in a direction two and all 
iron moment in a direction two here is the shear moment and you can actually see how the maximum moment in this case of course will be in a position where the beam is fixed to the wall so in its supports and the moment will go to the zero at the top and now if we look into the at the other end now if we look at the one more results here can also look at the we can also look at the result forces and for the result force only meaningful result force is in this node here and if we click on the update and you can see that there is a 500 newton what is the area of this triangle really so that's how much because we have a one kilo newton over one meter and as you know the surface area of the triangle is a one half base times height so that's a 500 newton and just in the opposite direction this one was pushing down was minus this one pushing up and we have a resulting moment of 13 of 1.3 kilo newtons so 1330 yes. newtons and this uh, and this will complete this exercise now it's up to you to do this model which is for you specified on the drawing board and to make a nice report this completes the exercise on the cantilevered beams